Hello everybody, we're back to another episode of 7 Days to Die. Today, we're back, baby. There's plenty of time left for us to die. I've been doing a little bit of an organizational effort here, and by that I mean I threw some stuff out here. Uh, I don't think- ooh, today's day 9. There might be new stuff in the dealer, or that might not be until day 10. Regardless, maybe we bring some extra money? What, what, what could be the worst? Let's bring an easy... Actually, no, because we're about to make some stupid money off of selling all this stuff, because the Papa Star Ponzi scheme is about to become the best scheme in the world. I don't know why I called it a Ponzi scheme, but long story short, we about to make no money, money. I'm keeping a war rocket with us, and this is all stuff that I want to keep. I'm not planning on selling anything up there. That's pretty good. We got food. Uh, the sniper rifle, we're going to improve with a new sniper part that's going to make it a lot better and really up the entity damage. I think I decide I'm going to end up selling the hunting rifle just because, like, it does a little bit more damage, but at the end of the day, I feel like... I don't know. I feel like we're better off selling it, making the money, and seeing if we can't get something good from it. Other than that, though, I think everything that we wanted to sell, we pretty much got in our inventory here, and we're ready to go begin our adventure for today. So I hope you guys are hyped. I hope you're having absolutely a fan fantastic day. Me? I'm doing pretty good myself. I'm excited, dude. Just earlier this weekend... I'm trying to like bring this up in every series that I'm doing. I finally launched the Star Snipe merch store, man. I know that might sound stupid and stuff. You might be like, oh, merch, but dude, I don't know. I had some like cool designs and stuff. And listen, if we're going to be repping the shotgun rain, speaking of that, now that I think about it, I should disassemble that so we get some free shotgun shells. Yeah, that's exactly what I should do. Yeah, that's a good move. Okay, and then we can sell this and it'll have an empty slot instead. Instead of using up our ammo. I like it. As you know, me being a disciple of Shotgun Rain, one of the most amazing things to ever grace any game in the world. I actually made a cool, I uh, collaborated with the guy I'm working with to make the store site and everything. Uh, to make a freaking Shotgun Rain shirt design. That's kind of like the October special because it kind of coincides with like zombies. Because zombies are always the recipients of Shotgun Rain. And also, uh, what's the other thing? Uh, oh, and just like Halloween and stuff. And it's got like the colors that kind of match with it. So I just want to kind of bring that up. There's also like my star logo, a cool kind of like star ribbon with the word star across it. That's like a little bit more modern-y, I guess. So depending on the type of style you might want. I just want to make a bunch of different shirts that I thought you guys would like bunch of different swag there's even like some decals if you got a car or something and yeah link will be at the top of the description if you guys want to check it out if you don't hey no worries just wanted to bring it up to you guys if it's something that interests you i'd appreciate the support a ton if you do end up buying one if not i appreciate the fact that you're still watching the series as being a part of the channel and overall continuing to have fan freaking tastic days for me all right but i just want to bring it up but shameless self-plugging aside get out of your vulture i haven't had to deal with your shenanigans in way too long I have a spike club with your name on it. Get back here. I'm hunting today. I'm hunting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Flee. Flee. Be scared. I'm going to my friend, the dealer. The dealer will keep me safe from your shenanigans. Because that dude's always filled with shenanigans. But yeah, I was really hyped with that. And for this opening weekend, I think it's supposed to last for... I don't know how much longer the code lasts for. I think it's until the weekend's over or something. But uh, you can actually use code STAR at checkout for like an extra 10% off. And Halo! Okay, forgot that this thing doesn't open till. I thought I should be open by now. What, what is this shenanigans, but... You can use code STAR. We might take this opportunity to actually collect some wood. Nothing wrong with that. We can always go for more wood. But, uh, yeah, you can use code STAR for 10% off anything in the store. Like, your total order. All that jazz that should be able to count for this weekend. And I made the price... At least, I think I made the prices pretty reasonable. Because, like, whenever I'm on Teespring, I always see people, like, selling shirts and stuff for, like... Dude, I see him selling them for like 25 bucks. I'm just like, okay, relax, dude. Like, chill. So, I got like the normal ones for 18 bucks and the, uh, watch them, kind of like the limited edition Halloween ones. That's only going to be like, that's October special. We're going to have a new one every month. That one's going to be, uh, the October special. And that one, I think, is $19.99. It's just a little bit more complex than the other designs, too. But yeah, okay. Enough talking about that. It is what it is. You guys know about it. The knowledge has been permeated to your brains. Now that knowledge is yours, trader man, please open on up. I want to deal. I want to trade. Oh my god. What what is it? 6 p.m.? Do you open at 6 a.m.? I will parkour onto there. I will find a way. Alright. He better be he better be taking this long so he's getting like a new shipment or something. Also, I see that deer over there. I'm kind of interested in hunting it. We do have a hunting rifle. And listen, might as well put the name of the hunting rifle to good use. This thing still does really good damage. And it's still like a solid gun. But just for how much it's worth, dude, two and a half grand in our pocket. I can't complain about that, but yeah, why don't we put this thing... Oh, there's that noise. 
Why don't we put this thing to use, doing what it should be doing? Hello, my dear friend. Crikey, here we go, a wild deer in his natural habitat of the, the, the cactuses. Crikey, what a majestic beast. You can see it peeking on over the grass. And you can see a not so majestic beast behind us in the form of a zombie. But here it is. Crikey. I see it in the wild. It's frolicking away. It thinks it's a fairy or something of the sort. Stand still. Boop! Dropped, baby! Down he goes. Do I still have the hunting knife with me? Oh no, I didn't bring the hunting knife. Well, I got the fire axe I could use to skin this man, or this deer. Probably not the most effective thing, but hey, if we get some venison out of it, dude, I'm happy. That venison's gonna be bacon and eggs down the line, and nothing's better than a bacon and eggs. Besides, of course, a fresh pair of pantalones, followed by a little bit of shotgun rain. <laughs> All right, but Trader Joe's is open. We got some moolah to be made and then I want to focus on probably I think it's right around time We start doing the mini bike and thinking about potentially exploring a little bit out from here I think someone said that apparently they went on my world Because I told you guys the seed of the game like in the beginning closer to the beginning of the series And someone said that there's like a good town up north with like tons of gun stores or something So I'm gonna be checking that out. I think that'll be a good idea but for now, please tell me today's restock day, Jimmy. Jimmy? Uh, how about Jimmy? Your pockets? Yeah, yeah, please. Nah, it's day 10. Well, I can't complain because we can still make our money, money. Selling a couple of silver nuggets, a couple of gold nuggets. Uh, the iron boots I'm going to sell too just because. Check this Shit, out. Man. Yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. You, whoa. Good, you treat me good. Stop. What? Oh, my God. All right, Mr. Mike Tyson face tattoo. All right, you want to be that mean to me? Jesus, no common courtesy. Why would I tip you? You you run a rundown shack and you just happen to sell stuff out of it. I'm pretty sure there's some sort of elite I think there's tax evasion going on here, Jimmy. Okay, so don't don't act so innocent, will you, buddy? But back to what I was saying with the iron boots, right? Check out all these stats on the boots. Check out the stats on the heavy bandit boots. To be fair, this thing's durability is a bit lower, but I don't know, dude. I seriously feel like the bandit boots are like legit. I, I, I kind of want to stay with the bandit boots. I feel like if we upgrade that, those will be way better. And so we could just sell this. Like, you can even see the bandit boots are worth more in their current state than the iron boots are. So yeah, I don't well. mind that. I want to give you some stuff, Jim Barbarino. Please enjoy. Not the SMG. Oh, God, I would not sell that. Uh, I do have. Did I reload this? Oh, my God. Stop. Be quiet. He's so mean. What was I going to say? Uh, can I make sure to empty out that hunting rifle? I don't know how to assemble it, so I cannot empty it out. Well, damn. That's right. I'm back, Jimmy. You're gonna finish hey, complaining Jack, now? Wow! For you? Yeah, you can lighten it up, uh, but I expect some gold in return. A lot of gold, actually. Dude, look at this. This stock sells for a thousand? Like, what in tarnation is half of these prices? This is a highway robbery, and for once, we're not the ones getting robbed. It feels good, man. It feels good. I could even sell this man some animal fat. I don't know what he's doing with the animal fat, but I'm not gonna judge. Animal hide? We got plenty of leather. You, you like maple seeds? Are you a seed collector, too? I'm keeping the meat, though. Don't even think about that, and then we can eat our meat stew when we're hungry. I'm not selling the meat stew. That thing is priceless to me. Alright, let's see. Does he have anything good to buy now that we got some good money? We got, like, 9k. I could buy money from him. <laughs> Yeah, I sure sure thing there man. Please please educate me on why I should buy money from you uh, Everything else here though is I think this is mainly stuff that I've sold him Yeah, I think I am his main seller at this point uh, I think what we might try to do though to get ready for day oh, 10 is honestly huh? Guarantee what guarantee I didn't buy anything from you. How can I get a warranty on nothing? Jimmy you gotta you gotta chillax there, brother. You gotta chillax there a little bit. You know, that would be a cool thing if they programmed Jimmy to actually say something, like, to say the right stuff, depending on, like, if they, like, it keeps track, like, hey, if you bought a gun with Jimmy in this interaction, right, or in this exchange, you know, that'd be cool. Right now, I think he just randomly says something, but I could be wrong at the same time. Do not quote me on that. That's what I think is like. I also reload the SMG. 
it was weird. I tried loading into the game the first time. The game glitched and <laughs> it was really weird. The game glitched and I couldn't move my mouse. I could do everything else, but there was no crosshair and I could not move my mouse. I could shoot. I could aim down the sights. I could go in my inventory. I could use the mouse in my inventory. I could use the mouse in the escape menu, but oh no, I couldn't look around with the gun. All right, apparently my hands forgot how to do that. But anyways, I think it's finally time for us to get this mini bike action going. We should be able to get the chassis slash chassis. Although I'm def it's definitely called a chassis. And then I want to see if there's like any bunker, potential bunker places around here. Like this is a big town. I feel like there's got to be something. Anyway, here's the usual old, ow, usual old parkour trick of making it back up to our base. And let's do exactly that. Let's start putting together the mini bike. Shall we? I think that's more than a good idea. What do we need? We need the chassis. Numero uno. It's gonna take some iron. It's gonna take some clay. Mini bike chassis. Do I not? Do I not know how to craft it? Mmm. Don't hit me with that type of cheese or that type of cheddar. I got the anvil, so this better be possible. If not, I'm gonna be a salty star. Do we not have enough iron? I think that's what we're short on, so okay. We gotta smelt down some iron, uh, we'll smelt down right about 300. I like keeping a good st uh, backup supply of it just because it ends up being pretty useful. Wow, I totally forgot to actually put it <laughs> in my inventory. It ends up being pretty useful when things come down to it so we can do that. Uh, we could take this opportunity to craft up even more buckshot while we're waiting. So we're gonna take a bit of clay and some of the lead we have and that's kind of why we're smelting down all the lead anyway. And we gotta wait a little bit for that iron to go up, but we got the buckshot. And I think we should start looking into investing into a workbench too. It's gonna take some forged iron, some mechanical parts and all that, but I think we have all of those things. If we have the claw hammer, then I think we're good. Yeah, look at that, we're good. We could have a workbench coming right up. Honestly, after we craft this up and use the iron, I might look into that, because then we could just, uh, yeah, instead of, ah, uh, but there's a workbench right there. Eh, decisions, decisions. Whatever, okay. Back to what we need for the mini bike, though. Uh, we have the seat, we need some handlebars. All right, so we gotta craft up some handlebars next. Handlebars can be crafted at a workbench. Man. Oh, we gotta read the right schematic. I think we have the schematic for it. I think we read the mini bike book. And if we haven't, then that's gonna be a problem. Uh, is there, is there not like, I thought we could look at like some of the things we've learned here, even if it like takes a book to learn it. No? Am I, am I mistaken? Maybe we haven't learned how to craft a mini bike. I mean, I'm sure we'll find out as soon as there's enough iron here. So in a couple more seconds. But anyways, back to what I was saying. We could definitely do the handlebars at least. So we gotta get is duct tape, and then those things are gonna be more duct tape. So four duct tape and some headlights. Definitely wanna grab those. Let's organize that a little bit. We got some duct tape. We got some handlebars. I think we're gonna need some leather while we're at it. Uh, mechanical parts, and short iron pipes. Okie dokie, artichokey. I got all of those things. Uh, I already forgot. What was the other thing I needed? Mechanical parts. I might be a tad bit lower on those than I'd like. Yeah. Yeah, a tad bit lower than I'd like. That is accurate. That is very accurate. Do we not have any more? No? Well, I think we might want to go out and try to collect some of those, but... Okay, do we have enough iron? We do. Perfect. Do we have the knowledge? We do! The mini bike is coming. Minute 50 seconds till that thing's good to go. Perfection. All right. While that's happening, we got a. What is that noise? Boy, boy, don't be attacking at my fire station. Oh, I forgot to sell the shotgun too. Yeah, so we got another reason to go back there. Not just for the workbench, but because I'm a dingus. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have a master's degree in dingology. All right. It's what I do. It's what I do. Where are y'all at? Oh, it's a little, little Roman horde full of businessmen. Little. Little business conga line. You guys look like fun. Good thing I can one hit all of you. <laughs> look at him topple over. <laughs> He's dead. Hey, bye, yeah. But uh, -da. oh, you survived. Yeah, not for long. All right, talk about a lot of dead bodies. I'm looting the businessmen first. Those guys, they usually do not disappoint, except today. They definitely disappointed today. Ooh, shotgun shells. No, reanimated corpse. Ah. What do you want? No! No, get out of here. I don't want to deal with your shenanigans, too. Where's the rest of the horde? This is definitely a wandering horde. Why are they coming? Oh, Jesus, in segments. 
I don't know. Oh, she's back up. Aw, oh, man. Get out of here. Oh! That was sudden. Is that everything? I'm, I'm not hearing much else. I think that that was indeedly do everything. Maybe? Who knows? Okay, but we gotta work on getting some mechanical parts going our way. I think we can get mechanical parts from a variety of things. I think... Don't office chairs, like... Like, you'd be surprised by a lot of the things that drop them. I just know we have to use the wrench for a lot of them. Like, maybe this will drop some. Uh, that's dropping, like, electronic components. No mechanical parts there. So we just want to think of, like, mechanical things that might drop them. So I think, like, office chairs? Maybe? Don't quote me, but I guess we'll find out here in a second. Yeah, I, I see the zombie coming, by the way. I will deal with you in a second, good sir. No. No, nothing from that. All right, where, did you not even notice me? Come on, that's just disrespectful, man. Come on. Come on. I'm the dude who's gonna smash your face in! You gotta pay me some homage before I do it, at least. Uh, in terms of mechanical... Dude, it's been a while since I've actually had to try to get mechanical parts. Usually I'm pretty good and having a good amount of them. I guess for once, that is not the case. If the washing machine doesn't have mechanical parts, there might be a problem. There might be an issue at hand. Can we eat some stew, though? Can we eat some stew, though? Uh, uh, no. No, we can't. That's okay. But all right. Will this thing drop us anything we're looking for? Are those mechanical parts? Or the, the, those are electrical parts. Dude, how is- you telling me there's nothing mechanical about a washing machine? I'm telling you, you don't know how washing machines work. That, or I'm just being falsely confident, and I have no clue how washing machines work. Honestly, great chance that it's a combination of both things. Can- does, does a car- okay, you're telling- a car better have mechanical parts. If a car, of all things, does not have mechanical components, I think... Yeah. I didn't drop anything in that entire wave of us breaking it. Okay, there we go. We're starting to get mechanical parts out of the cars, so we just gotta get... Uh, we're gonna have to break down a little, good amount of cars here. But that's not that bad. We could actually get engines out of doing stuff like that, including other parts. Uh, we get mechanical parts out of every tier. Except the first one, I think. That's what it looks like. So, okay, we got a good goal in mind there. We got a good face to smash. Why'd your face stay intact? Come on, man. Just, just, come on. Boop. Come on. Just, just make it easy for me. You, you, you rotting carcass, you. No, that was, that was, no, come on. You, you, you made me destroy your, desecrate your dead friend's arm. Like, come on, man. Have some respect for the dead. I mean, you're all dead anyway, so come on. <laughs> Yeah, luckily, I, I think I'm see- hello! Okay, I'll take that. I'll wear that. That's way better than what we got. Uh, I'm gonna take that uh, to the trader and actually repair it. That's gonna be a big improvement. So, we got a couple reasons to revisit the trader. And none of them involve- well, okay, I guess one kind of involves trading. That's just the forgotten shotgun, but we're mainly going there for the workbench at this point, man. Are we dropping anything, by the way, or are we picking everything up? Uh, is that a spring? Yeah, I'm not too worried about springs. Those usually aren't too hard to get. Uh, if we find an engine on the ground, however, that's a different story. Engines are kind of dope. Oh, what is that? Lead car battery. Hold the phone. What are we dropping for that? All right. I don't need no papers. I definitely don't need two different types of seeds. All right. One of those zombies was apparently a seed collector. What is that? That's a good battery. And that's good because we need a battery for this stupid uh, mini bike. Well, not stupid. It's going to be an awesome one. So breaking down cars is always bay when it comes to being prepared for this. We just got to look around. Is that beer? No, that's oil. I was about to say, whoa, 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 hold on. You think I'm leaving behind a brewski or two? I think you are loco, senor. Uh, we got to probably get one more car going. I think we'll be good to go. And, oh, yeah. I may have forgotten to do the most important part of every... Every video, I, I'd like to apologize sincerely. I hope you're having absolutely a fabric fantastic day, everybody. Nothing but the best day in the world that only gets better from here on out. Whether that be from the video, giving you a smile, giving you a giggle, giving you a chuckle or something like that. Or, I don't know, just anything else going on in that life of yours. I seriously hope it goes no direction but up. And on top of that, when you wake up tomorrow, man, I want that fan for contestingness to continue. I want you to keep on getting happier, man. I want you to wake up. I want that day to be better than at any point today. The peak of today, I want to be the ceiling of tomorrow. And I'm not just saying this is a dreamer. I'm saying this is a believer. A believer in you guys. All right, you guys have shown me insane generosity throughout the years. All right, just, it's, it's crazy. You guys have shown so much love and it's just like, with all of that that I've seen, I think you guys could knock out some of that love in your own lives.
So I believe in you. I believe in you. You got this, lads and lassies. Yeah. Just like I got lead car batteries. Not an engine. Just lead car batteries. And glass panes. All right. We'll finish breaking this one up. Then we'll head back up. And we'll kind of count everything that we got. Everything we need. And uh, we're missing a lot of oil from... Like, I... Yeah, you know what? Why don't we pick up the oil? We're not getting a lot of it, but still, oil's oil. We can get mini bike tires from some of these tires on the ground. Uh, let's go back up, though. I want to grab the mini bike chassis. I want to put it down somewhere. And once it's put down, I just want to start kind of piecing together what we got so far. And hopefully have a solid mini bike coming our way pretty soon. Potentially today. I think it's possible. A little bit of an upward struggle, but hey, we're used to the struggle. And look at that. Two nice car batteries. We could use this for, like, a uh, battery bank in the future, too. That'll be really handy. But let's try to put some of those components away. We got just enough mechanical parts. We got the mini bike chassis. <laughs> that is... Uh, oh, mama, that is an awful chassis. Wow, damage past the player 68. That, that chassis sucks. <laughs> I did not do good with the chassis. That's for sure. Okay, though, we're going to put this thing down. Not up here, as much as I'd love to do some evil Knievel type jazz. <laughs> I'm not that ballsy. I'm sorry, guys, unless you really want to see it. Maybe we'll build a second mini bike up there, but for now, there we go. We got the mini bike. We got to start tossing some parts on there. What parts? A battery. Boom. Enjoy the battery. What do we need? Handlebars, wheels, and seats, and an engine. I'm seriously surprised. Like, we, I don't think we've got an engine at all. So I think we might need to continue breaking down a couple cars and hopefully we get a good quality engine Because even though our chassis is absolute doggy doo-doo if everything else is good enough like That honestly brings up the average enough to where it's like kind of worth it and like we'd be fine But we really do need to bring up that average, but okay uh, Handlebars we got everything we need for those. Yeah plenty mini bike handlebars All right, we need five electricals and the finish craft and the handlebars Okay so we just got to get some electrical components, right? Now, I, I don't want to begin this thing's mixed up. I wanted electrical components. Is this correct? No electrical parts. Dude, th th like, I don't get why they're <laughs> electrical parts and components. Like, that just seems very similarly named. Also, I hear cicadas, dude. That's a noise that just reminds me of summer. Man. At least it reminds me of a couple summers ago. Don't cicadas, like, every... It's weird. Like, every seven years, aren't cicadas, like, stupidly obnoxious for some reason? Something like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting my fun cicada facts mixed up. I apologize <laughs> if that's the case. Uh, I'm, I might want to bring some quality shotgun rain with us too, but the sawn off shotgun, it actually has way. You know what we'll do here? You know what we'll do? All right. I'm not going to let. These are some really good shotgun parts. I uh, will grab those on the lickety splits. And you know what else we'll do is we'll actually. I can't assemble this unless it's in my inventory, but okay, we can assemble this thing. We really gotta get a better long barrel and receiver, like, <laughs> we've, we've upgraded this thing so much just because we found good parts from sawn-off shotguns, that's the only reason. But you can see, we are gonna be able to do some nifty upgrades, and then uh, when we go back to fixing this thing back up, we can put this thing back there, made a complete shotgun, make it worth a little bit more than it was before, and not too shabby! All right, so we got some gas too. We could try to sell. That's five hundred dollars worth of gas. Hot diggity dog. This might not be too shabby after all. Uh, I'm just gonna toss this in there. So hopefully I remember to do something with it. We can't even eat bacon and eggs. We're still full from that meat stew. But all right, I think we're pretty good to go forwards. So we just need. I have the electrical parts right. Only thing I'm missing is the handlebars. We're about to craft those. Boom shakalaka. Life is beautiful. Uh, the mini bike seat. I got that. So we just need tires, and we gotta luck out and get our hands on that nifty little thing. Nifty little thing. Known as an engine. So we'll be scrapping some cars along the way. But other than that, it's actually a really good outlook that today might be a mini bike type of day. And I ran past where my mini bike is. <laughs> I'm so used to- I'm gonna definitely have to park it. Dude, we, we can probably park it in the fire station. As stupid as that sounds, I like it. Because I wanted to be a fireman one time, like for probably a five minute span. I wanted to be a fireman, alright? Believe it or not. And then I realized, wait, then I have to fight fires, and like, fires hurt. And then I'm like, ah, I don't, I don't know how I can do that. But we got the chassis coming apart, durability and quality kind of averaging out. The chassis is really bringing down that durability though, so... We're gonna have to see how that goes. And we're also gonna have to see how some of these cars up ahead 
luck out and hopefully give us what we're looking for. I mean, right now, we can also pick up some oil from them and stuff. I'm just really surprised we haven't gotten anything yet. Usually, I'd have an engine part by now, but we've actually gotten two lead car batteries before we got an engine. That's weird to me. Who knows, though? I guess I'm weirded out by the stupidest of things. Wouldn't surprise me. Might honestly drink some beer during this fiasco, too. A, because who doesn't like a brewski here or there? And B, that's just gonna make sure we do a maximum amount of damage with each hit. And we got plenty of hitting to do. So we gotta try to make this count. Try to hit this absolutely as fast as possible. Alright, that's another layer down. I seriously don't think this is gonna give us any mercy. Like, I got a headlight. This is not giving us any mercy when it comes to engine parts. There's a dropped loot backpack. Yeah, I don't think I missed- Oi! We got the engine. Never mind. I'm done complaining. Okay. That means the mini bike is gonna be coming our way today. Especially after we sell a couple of things, clear up a couple of slots. Boom shakalaka. Things are looking good in this world. Day nine? What are we gonna have? A couple purple quality weapons? A freaking purple steel shovel. For whatever reason. I wish it was a pickaxe. Because you can use those things to break into houses and stuff. Alright, and I don't think we're finding no adobe houses, you know? So, I don't think the shovel's gonna be good for breaking into things. It's really good for digging, and when it comes to treasure, which hopefully we can find some treasure maps moving forward, it's actually still really useful for that. But other than that, it is- the shovel's a bit more specialized. Whereas the pickaxe, in general, it can do work for you. And it can do some damn fine work at that, but not as damn fine as this uh, mini bike is about to be. Although, like I said, I think the chassis is really going to bring down that quality. Worst case, we could build a nicer chassis later on. And from there, just try to make sure that it's, uh... We could try to, like, retool, like, put all the old parts on the new parts, if that makes sense. Or put all the new parts... Or put all the parts from the old chassis and transfer them to the new one. That's what I wanted to say. So, okay. Uh, step one. We want to craft handlebars. Let's make it happen. Boom! Shakalaka. We can craft these, so that's good. Handlebars, those shouldn't take too long. Mini bike handlebars shouldn't take too long either. Uh, ooh, brass car radiator. I'll scrap that really quickly too. A, so we could free up an inventory slot, and B, so our mining helmet only gets better. Dude, we are still horrifying. I love this heavy banded gas mask, but we're still horrifying. Uh, let's try to combine these two things together. Yeah, it's almost full quality, which means it should be a lot more protect. Look at that, 47% concussive. That's good to hear. Is concussive what ends up stunning us in the long run? I don't know. Oh, don't tell me I'm scrapping this in the workbench. I am scrapping it in the workbench, aren't I? Well, that's kind of annoying, but all right. And then we can craft our mini bike handlebars as soon as we get that there. There we go. Boom! And right around in a minute, we should be able to come back here. Should have everything that we want, and there should be a mini bike coming our way very soon. So, Jimmy, I'm excited, okay. man. Okay. I'm having an awesome day, and you're just gonna disrespect me like that to start the day. Thank you so much, Jimmy. You are the kindest soul out there. I hope you have a fan freaking fantastic day, even though it's very obvious you want me to have the least fan freaking fantastic day possible. Hey, that won't stop me from wishing well upon thee. So, yeah. Although, you, you kind of are a jerk. I, I, I do have to admit that. <laughs> uh, Headlight-wise... We could honestly sell these, like... No refunds. Deal's done. Now okay. My God, he's so violent. I hate it, man. <laughs> he's so mean. All right, what do we got there? This thing should be done in a sec. I don't think we need headlights after this, right? Recipe-wise. Yeah, if we got the mini bike handlebars, I'm not going to do too many spotlights. I think we could afford to make that sale. So let's pick up some of that brass. I like the amount of brass we're getting, too. Brass and lead are always two things I struggle with. Lead I'm kind of struggling with a little bit, but brass is doing really good this time around, so that's good. What up, Jimmy? I got some stuff. My boots are clean! All right, I like to keep my Uggs and my Crocs of the finest quality, Jimmy. I don't know about you even, do you even have Uggs or Crocs? My dude, I don't think you do. I can only sell this in a 100 increments. That's weird. We got another level though. 29. Oh, we're almost at 30. When we hit 30, I think we get the next tier of toolsmithing, which means better tools. And better tools is a big improvement. I like better tools, but okay. Yeah, we got a really... Wow. 
these oh you want to guarantee yeah them. no Maybe i don't want a guarantee shamway yeah hey, hey, don't 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 knock on shamway they're nice Sometimes, all right, Jimmy, as much, can I just duct tape? I have 21 duct tape. Can I just duct tape your mouth? You got a loud mouth. Can I try to shoot this man? I'm very tempted to do it. So much so that I think I'm going to, oh, no, don't sell the duct tape. That stuff's actually useful. There you go. Take the headlights. Uh, you, you like springs? You want to go build a pogo stick, Jimmy? I know you do. That's been your dream since you were a child. Totally didn't stalk you as a child. Just a fun fact that I know about you. Don't ask how. Please don't ask any more questions. I may have been exposed. Okay. Other than that, I think All we're right, looking now that good. You're doing business, get out of my store. Oh, oh, really? Get out of your store. I, I wonder what will happen. Uh, what, what could just? Whoop. Yeah. I saw some blood. I feel good enough. I can say I shot Jimmy. You know, I can see I shot Jimmy and live to tell the tale. Because he's a mini bobini. So let's head on back. Let's finish up the mini bike. Put the finishing touches on this thing. And revel in our triumph. A triumph that happened a lot faster than I thought it would. Although, oh, hold on. One last thing we got to do. We got to knock out the tires and get those. But once we do get this mini bike, I wanted to ask you guys for some direction moving forward in terms of this. So what do you guys want to see us do now that we have the mini bike? We've explored a lot of town. I don't think we've come across any buildings that could potentially be bunkers. I would, I still have not gotten a bunker in Alpha 16, so I would love to do that. So if I miss anything like that, please let me know and let me know where. But where do you guys want to see me go? Take the eastern path, take the western path. We might be able to go south a little bit. Uh, probably north through the mountains. Like, there's a giant mountain ridge there. Dude, maybe we're, like, in the middle of Colorado or something. And well, actually, this is a little bit too much sand for Colorado. Well, look at that over like there's I think there's some good stuff over those hills speaking of Colorado, dude I don't know why I've always I feel like I, I want to live in Colorado someday You know, I'd love to live in like Colorado Springs. That seems like a cool place I don't like maybe some of you guys live in Colorado Springs and you can tell me what it's like But I don't know. It seems like an awesome place. Is this thing respawned? Oh, it is nice Yeah, I'd, I'd love to live in Colorado Springs. I don't know why but Colorado is a nice place. It's uh <laughs> it, It's 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 a it's in a better state the state of Colorado is in a better state than Illinois. That's for sure. But that's, that's the end a little bit too. That's, 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 that's uh, there's a lot to talk about with what's wrong with Illinois, man. Uh, as much as I love it, as much as I love Chicago, there are definitely negative sides to it. But all right, shenanigans aside, I got an engine for you. Oh, the quality is going up. I got handlebars for you. It's going up very slowly, but it is. Uh, lead car battery, we just gotta, ooh. We might want to find a basket in a store as well, but oh, why am I going up? No, we want tires. I want tires. Luckily, plenty of them scattered about. I think if we break around four, we should have one because I think there's like a 25% chance again tires from these things. So I don't. What do we use to break it? Like I, I'll, I'll uh, I actually don't know what what's the recommended way of breaking tires. Like I'll, I'll use this to be safe. Uh, I don't know. I feel like the wrench is kind of just like the go-to when it comes to collecting stuff. So maybe, huh? I, I haven't collected tires in a hot minute, so I may have forgotten the secrets of tire collection. Uh, but yeah, I guess we're just kind of going on the wild goose chase and just trying to find some tires. I might stop by here super quick though, because I think I don't know for sure, but I think that there might be a shopping basket somewhere. Around here? No, that's a sports bag with nothing. Sounds about right. Oh, a lot of these things respawned, have they? Not too shabby. Does that mean stores might be like able to be relooted now? Ooh, that's exciting. Since we haven't really found any good stores, so maybe not. Regardless, all right, those tires, though. Come on, man, help me out. It's gotta be. It's gotta be the fire axe, cause it breaks it down the quickest, so it only makes sense. There we go. We got the mini bike tires of 63 quality. This mini bike is going to be so no bueno to begin with, but hey, I've had to survive through tougher adversities, all right? I think that's a pretty big first world seven days to die problem. My mini bike's not high enough quality. Oh, my life is so hard. <laughs> like, I, it's still a mini bike. I can't complain. I wish it was better, but that's all that I do. I wish. 
Okay, I'm not gonna complain about it. I just don't like complaining about stuff, man. I don't know. I'd rather focus on like fun and positivity rather than focus on negative things. Cause I, I don't know. I like spreading the positivity. This was like HIV or something, but it's positivity instead of negativity, you know? Oh, <laughs> vroom, 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 vroom. Super, super advanced there. Really, really good without, <laughs> without the tires. I like how they actually let you hop on it before it's even, uh, no, not repair, before it's even ready to go. But with these tires, the mini bike is an achievable thing with no gas in it. <laughs> Let's fix that. Gas? Do I have any gas? I got 86 gas. That'll be enough to get us. Uh, 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 we'll, we'll do a quick lap here. Uh, wow. This mini bike is slow. After season one of Alpha 16, it feels like I'm on a freaking putt putt or a golf cart. What is this? Like, it'll be nice if it has, like, the, the storage slots on it through the mini, through the basket we can get for it, but <laughs> we, I think we gotta look into investing into better parts for that, so another thing I might want to ask you guys here is what do we want to go into? What do we want to level up to craft better parts? Because we can still craft better, better parts, and honestly speaking, I think that is the number one thing I want to do right now, because these <laughs> these are not high quality parts to say the least. Uh, but in terms of crafting, yeah, does does it say what it like? Oh, it says gunsmithing right there. So maybe if I look at the mini bike thing here, uh, it, it doesn't say what it uses. Is it science? It says science zero out of ten. So maybe it is science. Yeah, it looks like they all use up science. Do I look like a man of science to you? As cool as science is, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, Alright, how, how expensive would science be to level up? Couple of points investments. I'll, I'll spend some points in it, because a better mini bike... Listen, I, 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 maybe we should have done this before. Especially because we just sold our headlights. Ooh. We could just mine some, we can, we can mine some more mini bikes to get some but yeah we can definitely improve the quality of at least two of these things but when it comes to the wheels i don't know because we can't craft wheels and i don't know like i don't think our level in science affects how good the wheels we collect are i might be wrong who knows uh, i i i don't all right i like to know I, i'd like to think i know a lot of things about seven days but uh, the specifics of if we if science affects the wheels that i loot I don't know. Look at that poopy traction. These things are so bad. Uh, the mini bike seat, though, that's a little bit better, but that's, that's just because we found it. That thing's really dope. A better engine might be really good, too. But that's all stuff that we'll be able to figure out in the future. Other than that, though, that is a perfect point for us. At least I like to think it's a perfect point for us to go ahead and end the episode off on. Thank you guys, Old Ton, for joining Bandit Star and his adventures. Because we got we pretty much got bandit gear at this point, man. It's really cool. I love that gas mask, too. But, uh, yeah, dude, that smoke does not look healthy from the mini bike either. So, a lot of struggle stuff, but at the same time, a lot of awesome stuff going on. We made some hella profit, too. Look at all the money monies we got. We haven't even found that much good treasure. It's only been hidden stashes and really good loot that we've sold for a really nifty profit. Look at that. Almost 35,000 coins. That's a good start, if you ask me. But other than that, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for me for now. I wish you guys nothing but the best. Nothing but the most fan freaking fantastic day in the world. It only gets more fan freaking fantastic from here on out. And when you wake up tomorrow, I want tomorrow to be even more fan freaking fantastic than the high point of today. And I know it's possible because y'all are fan freaking fantastic in my book. But that's going to wrap it up for now. Thank you guys all the time for watching. Have a fan freaking fantastic day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.